Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the error the system detected an overrun of a stack based buffer. So the first solution I highly recommend to do is to run an SFC and DISM scan. So press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window, copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. To do this press the windows button, type in msconfig and select system configuration from the search results. And now in here head over to the services tab and tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then select the disable all button. The next move you have to do now is click on the startup tab and select open task manager. Now in here locate the problematic services and simply disable them from this list. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line you can also repair this error with system resources. To do this press the windows button then select settings in this list. Afterwards click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery section. Now go to the advanced startup section and click on the restart now button and once you are in the advanced menu just click on troubleshoot, afterwards choose advanced options, then select system restore or startup repair. And this should easily fix your computer. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to restore your computer to an earlier date. To do this press the windows button then type in rstrui and select it as a run command from the search results. In here click on next then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred then click on next once again and then lastly click on the finish button to start the restoration procedure. And that's it. Afterwards just wait until it's restored to the earlier date and you can check if the problem still persists. Super simple isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.